Hello everyone, welcome all, welcome to K.E. Patshala. I am S.K. Shyam, Department of Linguistics, University of Kerala. Today, we will discuss about levels of linguistic analysis. As far as my view is concerned, linguistic analysis is very much applicable in all fields of, especially the applied fields of linguistics, especially for uh, descriptive studies. I could say language is immensely complicated, right? So when we consider a child's mother tongue, so there is no complication to learn mother tongue. So every child learns mother tongue in a uh, natural way so we don't have to teach children grammar in the case of mother tongue learning so that is why uh, Noam Chomsky uh, said that every child has in in their brain there is a device called language acquisition device commonly we can say that lad LAD so every child learns their mother tongue in a natural way. But in the case of uh, foreign language or uh, second language, how complicated one discovers in the process of learning a foreign language and the ability of all normal persons to acquire structural mastery and the basic vocabulary of their own language in childhood is one of the many wonders of humankind. The obvious complexity of language makes it unworkable for the linguist to try and describe it all at once. So language itself, speaking and writing is a unitary activity. The linguist in order to uh, in order the better way better to make scientific statements about language and languages concentrates at any one time on different though interrelated aspects of his subject matter by attending to different types of features and by applying different types of criteria. So these different and partial approaches have been called levels of analysis and the statements made about them levels of linguistic statement. So we can say that To study language in an analytical and systematic way, linguists have categorized the subject matter linguistics under the three uh, category. So we can say that levels of linguistic analysis may be classified into three. One is three levels. One is sound level. Second is grammar level, third one is meaning level. So as you know, for analyzing sounds, it always studies in different angle. I think only two angle, right? Phonetics and phonology. So phonetics studies language at the level of sounds. The study focused on how sounds are articulated by the human speech mechanism and received by the auditory mechanism and how sounds can be distinguished and characterized by the matter in which they are pronounced. In other words, phonetics is the study of the way human beings make 
transmit and received speech sounds. It studies all possible sounds that human speech organs can make it. It describes sounds without restricting its attention to any particular language. While in the case of phonology, which studies the patterning of speech sounds. In phonology, we studies combination of speech sounds into organized units of speech, the formation of syllables and larger units. It describes the sound systems of a particular language and the combination and uh, distribution of sounds which occur in that language. Classifications is made on the basis of phoneme. So what is phoneme? We already learned that phonemes are the minimal or smallest distinctive that is contrastive sound unit. Right? So for example, uh, ma, la, pa, etc. These are sounds. If we consider a particular word man, we can classify that word into sound segments like the initial letter is ma, m, and medial letter is a, then the final letter is na. So when we combine these three sounds, we will get a minimal, meaningful word unit that is man. So the selection and organization of sounds in a particular language constitute the phonology of that language. So we can say that phonology studies only those contrasts in sounds that is phonemes which make differences of meaning within a language. Then we shall move on to the second levels of linguistic analysis such as grammatical level. So grammar in linguistics consists of structure, structure of sentence, structure of words, etc. So morphology and syntax are concerned with the grammar of language. The last class we learned about uh, morphology and mo uh, morpheme, morph, allomorph, etc. So you all are familiar with these concepts. So morphology studies the patterns of word formation by the combination of sounds into minimal distinctive unit of meaning called morpheme. A morpheme cannot be broken by broken up because if it is broken up it will not make sense for example the earlier example i gave you that man the word man when we divide that word man into sound segments then we can get three sound segments like first initial sound is ma, the medial sound is a and the final sound is na. When we combine these sounds then we will get a uh, meaningful minimal unit that is morpheme. But when we divide it we will not get any meaning. So it's a combination of phonemes makes a meaningful word. We can say that it is a uh, morpheme. For example, bat. Bat we can divide like that. Ba, a and the. Then we will get, when we combine uh, these uh, sounds, then we will get a minimal, uh, meaningful word that is bat. That is a morpheme. When we 
Consider about BATS. It is made up of two morphemes. BAT BAT and SA. SA is a uh, grammar category that is plural marker. Morphology deals with the rules of combination of morpheme to form words. It studies the changes that take place in structure of words. For, in, for instance, the morpheme take changes to took and taken. These changes signify changes in tense form. So phonemes belongs to the sound system of language whereas the morpheme belongs to the grammar system of language. While phoneme is the unit of sound, morpheme is the unit of meaning. So morphology is thus a study of the internal structure of words. Hence we can say that it is grammar of words. Then we shall move on to the syntax part. Syntax is also uh, consists with structure of sentences that belongs to grammar, grammar level. Syntax is the study of how words are arranged into higher unit unit like phrases and sentences in principled way. So we can say that syntax is mainly a branch in linguistics which deals with the study of sentence structure. It deals with the rules and principles governing the arrangement of words into such higher linguistic unit. Hence syntax is the grammar of sentences. Then we shall move on to the next level that is meaning level. Meaning level uh, consists of semantics. And also we can say that pragmatics also consists with meaning level. But in pragmatics we can say that meaning in context. Semantics deals with the levels of meaning in language. It tries to give an account of the meaning of both words and sentences. It also deals with how language is organized into uh, various, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, um, order, order to the meaningful. So, these two, these three levels consist of levels of linguistic analysis. The first level is sound level, second level is grammar level, third level is meaning level. When we analyze a language linguistically, we can go through these three segments, sound level, grammar level and meaning level. Sound level consists of phonetics and phonology, grammar level consists of morphology and syntax, then meaning level consists of semantics. So, uh, we will uh, see next time on the next class. Thank you all.